hello everybody and welcome back to Polywog Nintendo. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a perfect snowboy in Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you tried a numerous amount of times but had your snowboy be your worst critic, these few tricks I'm about to tell you should make it easier than ever. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Before getting into the details about how to make a perfect snowboy, I'm going to be going over some basics of snow in Animal Crossing. Every day, you'll find two small snowballs somewhere around your island. These are what you're going to use to make your snowboy. To make the snowballs larger, simply walk into them to move them. No buttons needed. It will kick it about 10 times before your villager begins to roll it. When this happens is when you can start making your snowboy. Keep in mind that rolling it into non-snow surfaces such as paths, dirt, custom designs, and sand will make your snowball shrink. Also, don't push it into water or off of cliffs, for it will break. If you're running around your island wanting to make a snowboy and happen to find a large beetle pushing one of your snowballs, it's a good idea to scare it away as soon as you can. These dung beetles will try to sabotage your snowballs by rolling them towards water, towards edges of cliffs, and into non-snow surfaces. If they succeed in sabotaging them, then you will need to wait for another to respawn. To do this quickly, just walk into a building and return to the spot where they disappeared. Keep in mind that you may have to wait a minute for it to randomly appear, so be patient. And it might not always respawn in the spot it was before. Snowboys can be quite difficult to make, especially if you don't have any experience. But there are ways you can precisely measure these snowballs to make them just the right size to create a perfect snowboy. One of the most common ways is by using your villager. Now, this may sound weird at first, but trust me. For the body, it's quite simple to make it just the right size. Just roll it for as long as you can until you notice it's staying the same size. The body should be as big as you can make it, which goes up to the top of your villager's eyes. The head is a little harder. Slowly roll your head snowball around until it matches up with the top of your villager's ears. Make it too big? You can roll it around for a bit in a non-snow surface to shrink it down to size. Once you're done making your snowballs, push them into each other to create your snowboy. This method isn't quite guaranteed because even the littlest difference in size will make a normal snowboy. The second method for measuring the size of your snowballs is more precise, but a little more time consuming. For this method, you're going to be creating a long strip of path that is 2 by 10 squares long. If you don't have paths unlocked yet, you can use custom designs as well. All you need to do after making the path is to roll two full-size snowballs and place one at each end of the path. Then, roll one all the way across to shrink it down to the perfect size and push it into the other one. This method will more than likely get you a perfect snowboy, and it's quite worth it. You may be wondering, what's the point of going through all of that work for a perfect snowboy? I mean, what even is a perfect snowboy? Well, after you're able to succeed in making the perfect snowboy, you will be rewarded with special DIY recipes that are only obtainable from the perfect snowboys. These DIYs are the frozen DIYs. You'll also receive rare large snowflakes that can be used in these new recipes, along with other winter themed DIYs. Keep in mind that after three days, your snowboy will melt away and no longer be able to give you items. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below how your snowboys turned out with these methods. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!